In today's video, I show you how to connect Calibre and Readar. Why connect Calibre and Readar? It allows you to fetch a book from Readar and automatically import it into Calibre so that you can easily read it on your e-reader or share the book from Calibre's content server. Let's get the sync set up. If you don't have Calibre set up yet, go watch my video on getting Calibre set up within Unraid. The link is in the description. So we're going to jump into our Caliber server. The first thing we need to do is to set up the content server. This is used for the Radar and Caliber automation. So we're going to go to the top, click on Preferences up in the center. And down here where it says Showing over the net, we want to click onto that option. Here where it says the port on which to listen for connections is 8081. And that's the default port. And that's the port within the Caliber web server connector. It's not the host port. So we want to leave that alone. We have to turn on request username and password to access the content server. That's going to be required for Radar. And then we want it to run the server automatically when Calibre starts. So go ahead and select both of those. Next tab over is user accounts. We're going to select that. We're going to add a user. For username, I like to match those up with what I have in Calibre. And for me, I've got one in there for me. So I'm going to put in one for Jeff. And then the password, I'm going to set my super secret password. Super secret. And I will repeat that password and then hit OK. You have to have at least one, but you can go back and create as many as you need. So we can go back and add another one. Let's say we'll do one for the, the demo account. Demo and uh, we'll do SS for the super secret password. I might delete this one anyhow, but you know, then hit OK. After you have your users created, you can actually limit their access. The settings over on the right hand side. We'll go with my personal account here. Let's go personal account. And then we're going to go to restrict libraries. Jeff can access, so I'll click that, and I can select which libraries I want. Right at the top, it says allow access to all libraries. You have to click onto that, and then drop down and do only the selected libraries. Then you can select which ones you want. The other option is you can do all except the selected libraries. So this is going to be, they can't access this one. So however you want to set it up. Once you're done, you hit OK. I'm not going to worry about this because I only have one account anyhow. If you need to remove a user, click on the user and hit remove user. It's really simple stuff. Once you're done, hit apply. It's going to give you a warning that it needs to restart the server. So go ahead and hit OK. And we're going to close this preferences window now. And to restart that server, we're going to go up to connect share on the very top menu here. We're going to go down. Right now mine is off, so it just says start content server. So I don't have to restart it. If yours is running, then you'll have to like stop it. Go in here, hit stop content server, go back in, and then turn it back on. Now let's make sure that the content server and the password are working. So to do that, if we go back to our Docker container, we will find Calibre in the list here, which is right there for me. Let me expand my folder, find it here. Then it shows the port number here, and it is this bottom one. Come on. I'm going to copy that, open a new tab, paste it in. Watch the ID and password. So I did Jeff and super secret and i don't need to remember this one and sure enough we're in it's showing you the newly added content you can go click on the library itself and it shows you the full library of all the books that you've got under that user there you go the caliber side is all set up now that it's set up i wanted to say thank you to all of you that requested this video it helps me knowing what content that you guys are looking for i make these videos to help the community and to get your servers up and running if you haven't subscribed yet and i've given you some value please consider subscribing under the radar setup let's click on the radar if you don't have it open, obviously go back to your server, find it, and then open the web interface, and you'll end up here. If you don't have Radar set up, then watch my video on how to set up Radar. I'll leave a link in the description as well. So once you're in Radar, we're going to need to go down to Settings, and then to our Media Management. We're going to click on the big plus. Next, we need to put in a name. Typically on the name here, if it's just one library that I have, I'll name it Calibre Library. If I'm going to have multiple users, then I will put in the user's name, and then like a dash caliber something like that it's just so i know what it is and then the path location i will browse to that now we'll hit the search box we'll go to data media then it's under caliber and then my library is there and i'll hit okay and then your add author settings this is entirely up to you like i've said in my radar video that i don't like it looking for everything so i set these all to none quality profile ebook is what we want we'll leave that alone the metadata Profile. Like I said, I like to change mine to none. And if you scroll down to the bottom, next we'll want to enable the use Calibre content server. So we'll go ahead and put a check mark there. 
then for the caliber host we're going to put in the server ip address so in this case for my server my demo server is 10.0.0.11 scrolling down the caliber port is going to be the port that the caliber content server uses not the web ui port so in this case it's going to be 8081 the caliber username is the username that we had set up in this case it's my name and then the password which i did super secret super secret and then the library name is going to be the library name that we're going to choose here this is how you choose each individual user's library and you have the option to convert to any kind of format as the books come in so epub is typically what i convert to so i'll go ahead and select that and if you don't know there's a little i right next to it you hover over that it'll give you all the options that are available i just need the epub so that's good moving on in the caliber output profile you can set this for the device the book is going to go towards so for me i use the kindle paperwhite so i'll select that option and then i typically don't try on the ssl part of it because i don't really get to it from outside of my house and if i did i'd use a reverse proxy which i got a video on that coming up too and then you hit save and if you have more than one user you're just going to go back and repeat that process you just hit another one put in the person's name dash caliber or whatever you want it to be called browse to their path adjust all the settings turn the caliber server on put in that user's information and just do that for every user or if you just have one library then just do the default caliber library and you're done that being said if you haven't signed up for my newsletter yet i'll leave a link below it's a monthly publication with unraid news written out guides and more and that's basically it that's caliber is now set up to talk to radar and radar is set to talk to caliber so if you want to test it you can go look for a book and you just go to your library add new search for a book i'll do the stand and i yeah that's what i thought there's a an issue that came out last night with radar it uses some kind of a book lookup proxy thing and apparently it's got an issue with it right now so all the results are, are failing so otherwise when that's back up which i'm sure will be shortly oh there they showed up i still think it's not working 100 percent, but yeah if once you find the book you click the book your root folder here this is the biggest thing you're going to change to the library that you want it to go to in this case i want it to go to my caliber library so i'll select that option you can choose the monitor options you know all the normal stuff here i don't want it to monitor enter anything it's going to stay in ebook format i don't want that tell it to start looking for it and you hit add the stand and it'll go out it'll get the book download it and it'll process it and put it right through into caliber so then once it's fully done you can go back to your caliber content server here and the book will be there like i said it's a pretty simple setup so if you found some value in this video make sure you hit the like button and let me know and if you enjoyed it check out one of these videos next and i'll see you in the next one